With the release of Amazon's new Kindle Fire tablet for $199, we wanted to test drive MRH on the device. The Kindle Fire screen is only 6 inches wide, but it's 1024 pixels wide at 150 pixels per inch, which makes for a nice, crisp looking screen image. We'll zoom the camera in a bit to fill the screen, and let's take her for a test drive. The best app to use for reading MRH is Easy PDF, so you'll need to go to the Amazon App Store and purchase this app. One thing we noticed right away about the Kindle Fire is that unlike the iPad, the screen is sluggish and doesn't always respond to taps the first time. Upon opening up Easy PDF, you can see we've added an MRH folder under My Docs. Inside the folder, we've got a couple issues of MRH we've downloaded. We tap to open up the November 2011 issue. It takes a couple taps to get the easy PDF screen controls to disappear. Notice the screen is too narrow up and down to show the entire page, but you can easily drag the page up and down slightly to see the whole page. And the links in the issue work, just tap on them, like this cover teaser for the Central Valley Bridge article. Easy PDF stops and asks you on every single hyperlink if it's okay to proceed. That's kind of annoying. But we go ahead and tap OK, takes a couple taps, and we're on the article. The best way to navigate an issue is by dragging and flicking to change pages. And we're happy to say the text is quite readable. But if you need more, you can pinch zoom larger to make the text larger, and it's even easier to read. A quick pinch in restores the page to its original size. It generally takes a couple good flicks of the finger to get Easy PDF to change the page. One to get to the bottom of the current page and another strong flick to change pages. Once I'm done reading, I'd like to go back to the table of contents. So I try tapping the contents navbar link, but hard as I try, it doesn't respond. I finally zoom in to make the link a lot larger and find that gets the link to finally work. You generally need to make your taps slow and deliberate in order to get them to take. Once I'm on the table of contents page, a quick pinch in returns the page back to its normal zoom level. I tap the Cotto paint removal article to read it. I tap the feedback button to read what others are saying about this article on the MRH website. The Kindle Silk browser can take a bit to bring up a web page if this is the first time you visited it on the device. I scroll through and look at the comments that people have made about the Kato paint removal article. Hmm, interesting. Once I'm done on the website, tapping the back button, Again, slow down your taps and make them more deliberate. It takes you back to the page you left in the magazine. Very nice. Once I'm ready to exit the magazine, I just tap the little up arrow at the bottom of the screen and get a menu that lets me exit the document. Getting an issue of MRH onto your Kindle Fire is easily done. I tap the Home button on the lower left of the screen and then tap Web. I was on the MRH site last, so it comes right up. But if you're not there, you need to navigate to MRHMag.com. I tap Magazine, and then scroll down to see all the magazines I can pick from. I tap the October issue, and then select Copy to My Computer. Up comes the Flash Download Helper. 
For the Kindle, the Mac version works best, but tapping on the tiny Mac button is easier if you zoom in first with a pinch out. Even then, it takes a few tries to get the Kindle to recognize the tap. Then I tap Download. Make it a good tap and hold for a second. Up comes the Save As bar. Tap the OK button on the upper right and the download starts. I pinch zoom back out to normal size and wait for the download to finish. Once the download's done, I tap and hold the Download Complete button, which takes me back to the October issue page on the MRH website. I tap the Home button in the lower right and then go into Easy PDF Reader. A newly downloaded issue is located in the All PDF folder, so I tap that Tap the directory down arrow to expand it and see the October issue I just downloaded. I tap the issue to open it up, and after a few moments, there it is. I scroll to page 2, the Sponsoring Advertisers logo page, and tap on the CMT logo to visit their website. Er, uh, I tap on the CMT logo. Oh yeah, remember to tap and hold for a moment. Take some getting used to for a seasoned iPad user like me. The Kindle Fire is definitely not an iPad. Once on the CMT site, I click the back arrow at the bottom of the screen to return to the magazine where I left off. This is so nice. I'm ready to go to the table of contents, but try as I might, the link is just too small for the Kindle to register the tap. So I zoom in to get the link large enough so that the tap will register. Once on the contents page, I pinch in to zoom back to regular size. I visit the $35 challenge article briefly. Then exit the document. Easy PDF remembers where you left off reading. So when you go back into an issue later, you go right back to the last page you were on. Nice. Paging through this article, I find it very readable on the Kindle Fire screen. It's great to see that MRH reads pretty well on this very affordable tablet from Amazon. It generally takes two flicks to change pages, one to get to the bottom of the current page, then another to change the page. Not too bad once you get used to it. I zoom in so the contents tap will register. Then pinch zoom back to regular size. Okay, let's check out a track planning article. Tap, nope, tap and hold. There. To get the Go to Track Plan link to work, like Contents, you need to zoom in first and then tap and hold briefly. On the Track Plan, being zoomed in makes it nice and readable. Let's find a particular camera angle to check out. How about Figure 10 here? I tap 10, and then off to the figure 10 photo we go. Pin zooming back out, and there we are. Okay, I'm done, so let's exit out of the document.
Let me show you how to take this PDF and file it in the MRH folder with the other issues. First, move it to the My Doc folder. Tap and hold. A menu comes up that lets you move it to My folder. Once it's in the My Doc folder, we need to cut and paste it into the MRH folder. To do that, we tap on the dock icon on the bottom of the screen and then tap on the gear icon. Up comes a series of icons, new folder, copy, cut, paste, and delete. The cut looks like scissors, so we tap the October PDF and then tap cut. Once it says the cut is finished, then I tap the MRH folder and tap paste. That's it. The October issue is now filed in the MRH folder with the others.